What do you suppose is in that box? Good morning, everybody. It's February 23rd, the morning after the great Midwest ice storm. The post office called me and they said that I could come down and pick up my baby chicks that just got delivered there. So we're taking the back roads. It's very icy, very slippery. I don't know how well this shows up, but the ice hanging in those trees is beautiful. However, that ice hanging on the power line, if enough of it gets on there, could lose our power. We've been fortunate to be able to keep our power during the night and everything is still warm in, in the house. So head to the post office, pick up the baby birds and I'll bring you back when we get them home. So the chicks came from Town Lion Hatchery which is just, well it's over by Grand Rapids which isn't too far. I got a phone call to come down to the post office and pick them up and if they all survived in this winter ice storm that we're having I will be amazed. And if they did, it's a credit to the Postal Service. We'll look at here. Everyone made it, all 70 of them. Time to get the brooder heated up and get some feed in there. And what I have to do first is dip each, each little chick's beak in the water. And then they kind of take care of themselves. We'll keep, keep watch over them for some time, of course. Aren't they just the cutest little things? <laughs> little yellow fuzzy butts. Hi, Pete. Last year we did 40 of them, and they sold like hotcakes. These are meat birds, not layers. And so my wife thought, well, why don't we grow some more? So th this is 70 of them, and we'll see uh, how well this does. We've already got some of these pre-sold. Really have too much more to say other than I guess I better get busy and get their home ready. Each individual bird I dip their beak in water and then put them in this brooder. You can see some of them are at the water right now. Quite a few of them have been drinking. They haven't figured out the feeder just yet, but they will. I don't think this brooder is nearly big enough to hold all 70 of them for very long, so I guess I better get another brooder set up for them. And that's about all I got to uh, tell you on this video. From time to time, we'll probably do more videos as they grow. So with that, I'm going to say we're going to call this a video. Thank you for watching. And until the next time, take care.